Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, let us quickly take a look into add get mapping annotation. Well, the get HTTP request is used to get a single or multiple resources, and add get mapping annotation is used for mapping incoming HTTP get request to a specific handler method. Specifically, add get mapping annotation is a composed annotation that acts as a shortcut for add request mapping annotation plus HTTP get method. Well, basically, add get mapping annotation is a shortcut for add request mapping annotation plus the HTTP get method. Next, let us go ahead and let us understand more about add get mapping annotation with an example. So, let's go to our project in English idea. And in previous lecture, we have created an example to demonstrate the usage of add request mapping annotation, isn't it? So, basically, we use add request mapping annotation to map the incoming HTTP request to a particular method. And we use add get mapping annotation to map incoming HTTP get request to a particular method. For example, here, let me remove this producers and consumes attribute. And let me keep the add request mapping annotation with multiple URIs and HTTP get method. So as we know that add get mapping annotation is a shortcut for add request mapping annotation plus HTTP get method, right? So here, instead of using this much of code, what we can do is we can simply use add get mapping annotation. For example, here, let me use add get mapping annotation. And whenever we use add get mapping annotation, then we don't have to specify the HTTP method. So let us remove this. Okay. Next, if we go inside the source code of get mapping annotation, here you can see get mapping annotation is annotated with add request mapping annotation plus HTTP get method. It means Get mapping annotation is a shortcut annotation for request mapping annotation plus the HTTP get method. So get mapping annotation will work same as request mapping annotation plus HTTP get method. All right, so let's go back to book controller. And if you can notice here the name of the annotation, get mapping. The name itself says that this get mapping annotation is used to map the incoming HTTP get request to this particular method. All right, so just remember, we use add get mapping annotation to map the incoming HTTP get request to a particular method. Next, we can use get mapping annotation to specify multiple URIs. So let me first use a single URI. So in order to define the URI, just pass the double quote. Within double quote, we can specify the URI. For example, let us say book. Okay. Next, let us go ahead and let us rerun the Spring Boot application and let us see how this get mapping annotation works. Well, our Spring Boot application is up and running. Next, let's go to browser. Here, just type the URL localhost 800 slash API slash book. And there we go. The get book REST API is working as expected. So this is how we can use get mapping annotation to map incoming HTTP get request to this particular method. Next, we can use add get mapping annotation to specify multiple URIs. For example, here we can use value attribute and we can specify multiple URIs like this slash book and then slash Java. Next, let us rerun this promote application and let us see whether these multiple URLs work or not. So our Springboot application is up and running. Let's go to browser and here just refresh. Well, this HTTP is working. Next, let us pass Java and there we go. So this is how we can use multiple URIs with add get mapping annotation. All right. So basically add get mapping annotation is a shortcut annotation for request mapping annotation plus HTTP get method. And this add get mapping annotation, it works same as add request mapping annotation. Okay. So whatever the attribute, the request mapping annotation has same attribute we can use with add get mapping annotation as well. For example, we can use, you know, producers attribute to define the media type for example here you can see media type application slash json and we can also use consumes attribute to define the media type application slash json all right so this is all about add get mapping annotation all right great in next lecture we will take a look into add post mapping annotation and add request body annotation. Alright, great. I will see you in the next lecture.